Give me a minute and let's talk about Havana syndrome. Havana syndrome, you might have heard of it. It is what the government calls an anomalous health event. There are now documented 116 cases of U.S. counterintelligence officials suddenly suffering from a piercing noise, sound, and pain in the ear that leads to long-term memory loss, fun cognitive functional ability loss, etc. Life-changing, devastating symptoms. Now, if all of these 116 people had these effects happen in isolation, you could write it off as a biochemical issue, right, a health issue, an anomalous health issue, as the government officially calls it. But that is not the case. In 2017, in Tbilisi, Georgia, a, counter, a U.S. counterintelligence official, his wife and their daughter were at an outdoor cafe when they were all struck by these symptoms simultaneously. According to uh, the 60 Minutes interview with the principal researcher from Stanford University who investigated the health effects, the, the post effects of these attacks, the damage is consistent with a high energy weapon, either microwave or focused acoustic signals. That's what we're looking at here, folks. Now, what do all 116 of these counterintelligence agents have in common? They were all investigating and working against Russia, all of them. Further, at the time of the attack on that family in Tbilisi, Within seven days, there was an attack on another U.S. counterintelligence agent in Tbilisi. And the son of the director of Unit 29155 was in Tbilisi at the time and has been identified from photographs as being outside the house of one of the victims. Now, what does this tell us? This tells us that there is circumstantial evidence to indicate that the Russians have developed some kind of a focused microwave or ultrasonic energy weapon, and they have been targeting U.S. counterintelligence agents since at least 2014. 60 Minutes also obtained the document that I have here behind me. This document... Uh, from 2018, 2017, 2018, is for the payment of a bonus, let's look at the English, from section 29155 to the contractor for the potential capabilities of non-lethal acoustic weapons during military combat operations in the city. There's the fucking receipt. Now, look, this is a hard truth to, to look in the face, right? It sounds conspiratorial. It sounds futuristic. It sounds like sci-fi. But the future is here, my friends. This technology is well understood. U.S. Coast Guard ships are outfitted with scaled ultrasonic weapons to disrupt pirates attacking ships. That's a real thing already. Why couldn't we shrink it down and use it to attack individual targets? Of course you could. And it looks like the Russians have done it. It is time for the United States to stop kidding itself. We have been under attack, not just in the disinformation space, like we talk about on this channel all the time, but in physical reality. Our agents have been targeted by the opposition and are suffering consequences for the rest of their lives. It is time to end this. It is time to stand up and support Ukraine. 
We get the Russians wrong. We always do. This is more evidence of that as far as I'm concerned. But the Ukrainians, they get the Russians right. We don't have to do a thing. We don't have to put boots on the ground. All we have to do is support Russia. I'm sorry, support Ukraine in its fight against Russia. That's all we have to do. And face the reality that Russia is our enemy. Russia has been attacking us for at least, at least since 2014. Curiously enough, the same year that it attacked Ukraine, right? This war has been going on for 10 years here. And it is time to help the Ukrainians put an end to it. Thank you.